idea you had there. It feels like it just destroys the lane against the centaur. And oh, even the void. You, you might strike. Whoa, never mind. We'll go down the life stealer Ooh. route. So interesting pick up here from from RSG to finish things off. I, I guess there's plenty of heroes that are kind of nice to infest to, especially that sand king. So lash right? Because early game, yeah, he's just able to just spam out all these spells, these zones, and the out. And if you look at later gun, they are. The supports are not really good in helping con helping to control the power runes or any of the water runes too. So I feel like any rotations coming from Irish. Oh, look at that. Yeah, fairy fire taken. Sanctity, one more hit will do it and they've got it. Solo kill there for XC Learn. And, well, I thought, I I'm sure you know this feeling very well, but getting a solo kill. Um, from the two of them. And I'm liking these double braces coming up the center a lot. Very, very tanky. Seal going to move in again, but this is a very dangerous maneuver here from Seal. He may end up getting punished for this as Eleven is trying to close the gap to get some damage off, and he's got plenty of it. Or tanky item up. He's just going to be able to sit on lane, and your Storm and Tiny can always collapse towards the Xanthor. And he will, by becoming a very uncutable presence, or mid lane though. Yeah, Sanctity in big trouble. Kishka gonna try and keep him alive, but there's just so many heroes to deal with. And now Kishka, he's gonna try to run his way out, but there's no running. Xe learn finding his third kill of the game. And you can tell that at the end of the day, they are really here just for the tower. So they are just poking from long range, but they are never really committing. Here we go again. Seal this time gonna be targeted as 4 2 3 does get the ink sword to land. Xe Learn gonna move in with the start out. This looks really dangerous for 423. He's gone too far and he's gonna get punished for it. Oh boy. Oh, it's looking worse and worse as time goes on, Arthur. I mean, this left towards that blink dagger. So it almost feels like Lil Gun with this. Oh, in fact, hold that thought. I may have jinxed him 11. In a bit of trouble as MKS doing a hell of a lot of damage right now. Still, he has the fire blast available. So 11, he's gonna be able to make it up. It turns out MKS still has enough damage to deal with this Centaur if necessary. And Kishka, well, he does save the day. In fact, they're going to have some rotations coming in. 4 2 3 showing up now for Tiny. Stampede is there. And maybe they have the lifesteal, though. MKS, he's still going to go for the man fight with the Rage Out, but he does not have Infest available. He never skilled it up, and that means Seal will drop along with him. He will try to run, but there's no running. Sanctity able to pick up a kill for himself. Oh, that was such a crucial arm came in for some FCs as well, so he was able to get some pretty crucial experience. However, yeah, mid lane Sanctity has been caught out again, though Kishka is there, but they've got so much stun. They've got way too much stun, and the tips come out. Sanctity's copying it real hard this game as XE Learn picks up another, and well, you've got to give credit to the support duo of RSG. I mean, they've just been so on. They are around. They want to fight for this. I try. Seems like they don't want to enable this Lesh Rack draft to just keep doing what it wants. It's 4 2 3 now with the Ink Swap going to move in onto Seal. He might be able to blow up the Ogre, but not quite yet. As Xiao Yu is going to make the jump in, but the Stampede is going to allow them out. Now the Vortex. Sanctity going to try and go after the Lesh Rack, but he's melting. He needs to zip back out. As now 4 2 3 has been caught out. He has been stunned up and he's gone. Oh, it just doesn't seem worth it. I mean, you get an ogre kill, but you lose your your tiny one for a uh, lifesteal to catch catch up. Cause lifesteal, look at his net worth right now, getting closer and closer to tiny. And we talk about the infest heal, right? That was what the, that was what kept Exilon in the fight. Oh, zip in, Inkswell is gonna be there. Exilon, a nice juke out with the Yule Scepter. In fact, he just got that one up, but it won't matter. They've trapped him up and they've got him down. A massive kill now for Lil Gun, something they desperately needed, and will perhaps Exilon get. Does have help around though. Ja Bonbon in the tree line waiting very patiently. As Eleven does have his smoke broken. He'll make the jump in, but disruption will be there and now the purge out. They'll try to focus down the centaur as Fire Blast is there, but now they relocate. Sanctity, he's gonna move in onto the Shadow Demon. They'll try to burst him down, but Ja Bonbon, he is still not dying. In the meantime, Kishka does end up going down as Sanctity just needs to zip the hell away and get out of this team fight. They lose the IO and they might just lose themselves a centaur. Stun is going to be out from our Leshrac, and he's really not that tanky. Not when you've got this much damage from the Leshrac. A couple of peaceful time, and he should be able to catch up. Jump in. 
Relocate is there. Sanctity going to try and move in onto Sharp Bon Bon, but there is helping coming. The question is, will they make it in time? And it doesn't seem like the answer will be yes. Instead, though, 423 going to be targeted. Stun is there, but now the Soulbind is out. Maybe they can try to turn this as 423. He hits hard. Sanctity, a double vortex into the double hoof stomp. That's a great initiation here from Lil Gun. But can they do with MKS? It seems like they probably can as the Avalanche tosses up. They've got the control and they've wiped out four. In fact, they want the fifth one. They want the team wipe and they might have it as Seal is still trying to run. Ingswell not going to land. Sanctity, has he gone too far? Kishka is going to heal him up just in time and Seal cannot get the vision for the Fire Blast. A full team wipe out for Lil Gun. Xiao Yu going to be smoked up on the front line. Sanctity. He's going to be spotted out here by the Sand King, but they're going to be very patient with the initiation. In fact, never mind. They'll move in onto the Storm. Epicenter's going to be there, but Sanctity will just zip right away as there was no follow-up stun. And so instead, they'll pick up Kishka. Can they reach for more, though? Seal, he's trying to get within range, and who have they got? It looks like they've got themselves another support. Ace 12 to drop. 423 still trying to run away with the rest of his team. So, look at me. Oh, here we go again. Who have they got? Oh, boy. Yeah, it's going to be the Storm Sanctity getting caught out. Maybe now they can go for more. Xiao Yu has that blink. Quite excellent. He's building everything into survivability. Absolutely. They do move in now. Who have they got? 11. Trying to move in onto XC Learners. 423 rushes in, but a nice disruption. Does avoid the ink swell. The zip in now. XC Learner. He's still in big, big trouble, but a big barrow strike into the epicenter. Onto the support duo, but it doesn't matter. XC Learner's still gone. So they will try to secure Kishka on that IO, but now 11. He's in to save the day with a big avalanche toss out. They've got a couple, but it's just a bloodbath all over the place. MKS is still trying to fight. As Sanctity, he's out of mana, or at least very low, but enough to get to the high ground. Enough to try and run away. Way, but not quite. MK is still going to be able to close the gap and does find the storm. And so it does ad 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 adopt that yet, but bottom side, it seems like RSG they want to defend this. They do. 4 2 3 going to show up and show you immediately into the burrow strike and epicenter. No messing around, but they do have the stampede. Nice disruption to the backside. They've got the ogre. Ace 12. He's going to be the first one to drop a seal. Is still alive. Instead, Xiao Bon Bon is going to go down here for RSG, but it won't matter because they've got plenty of heroes to aim down. 11's going to drop. Relocate out by Kishka onto 4 2 3s. He's falling low, but he's moved back in. He's going to keep the fight going as they're on to MKS, but he's still happy to man fight this one out. The tiny in trouble now. MK is just chasing him down for a triple kill. And now Kishka should be an ultra. Can we get ourselves a rampage? It seems like we can as no. Oh, why would you? Xy learn. He took it off him. That's a report, my friend. Now has kind of sacked his own life as he's he's gonna have to come back eventually. Bye bye. All right. Okay, if you look at RG though, they run all the way back to the triangle. Wow. Because they know this is... They want to work for this area? Yeah, still already onto A12. They're going to try and take down this Ogre, but a big Burrow strike out from our Sanking. But an even better double stun out from 11. They've got Seal down, but it seems like 11 is probably set to fall. A Zhao Yu will have the Yule Scepter to cancel the TP. And eventually they'll get the Centaur, no issues. And RSG, I mean, they might just stick around for a tier 2 mid. Since it's high ground territory, he understood that he needs this to stay alive. He's been playing perfectly this game, Xy Learners. He's going to find Ace-12 and just with the movement speed bonus, there's no real running unless Ace-12, he tries to juke out. It's not going to work though, Xiao Yu's all over it. And again, it's a matter of whether RSG want to try and force high ground yet or not. You know, you are forcing a stampede coming here from the team, so if they want to go high ground, they might be able to do so because you do have the shot on last track to kind of protect the MKS here. Nice oh, dodge. Yeah, very nice dodge indeed as the Burrow Strike is out, throwing him back the other way with the Lotus Orb. See you later, 11. No buyback available for that Centaur for this defense attempt. And well, it looks like it is just set to fall. In the meantime, though, down at bot lane, 4 2 3 and Kishka are trying to backdoor, but it's not going to work out for them. They'll relocate back into the base and they'll have to prep for this defense attempt. MKS, he'll be targeted, but he's perfectly fine for now. Instead, disruption out onto 423 with the BKB. He's going to try and man fight, but there's no damage. And the epicenter is there from Xiao Yu for the leading Kishka and Ace 12. And now they can just move in. Onto the racks they go once again. It's so hard to see them being stopped. They're all just so tanky. Ligan has it. 
they certainly haven't been screwing up at all here, RSG, as they move in again onto that die triangle. Or two, three, gonna break the smoke immediately into the backside, though. Sanctity gonna be fine. Instead, they'll try to aim down our Ace 12 onto the storm. He's trying to move in onto the backside, onto the support. He has found Xiao Bon Bon. Meanwhile, MK is holding everyone else back. So XE Learn being targeted. 11, he's the one being targeted. Now he's the one who needs to run, and it doesn't seem like he's gonna be yes. able to run. Though MKS has been caught, but no, the Satanic has popped. He's fine. They didn't have the damage output. So they're gonna be able to take them down. The Tiny's gone without buyback. Oh, the buybacks are being committed. But I don't think they make a difference here for Lil Gun, as they are just going to give diebacks the way of RSG. And it seems like we have a very close GG call coming here from uh, from Lil Gun. As again, I just don't see how they defend. Oh, I'm surprised that the Gs are not dropped just yet. We talk about a potential screw up, right? RSG they actually missed two borrow strike in that fight, which is why this fight look a little bit close for Lil Gun. If those were perfect bro strike, that would be even more convincing, but they again they knew. They knew they have no way back into this game, so it's time to tap out and go for a second game. It certainly is, and with that RSG taking a 1-0 victory.